anything's possible with this president and the mobsters he has around him. That's right, mobsters. Who take our money to spend it on unconstitutional purposes. Who spread it around like they're uh, precinct workers in uh, South Chicago. Buying votes, selling votes to get whatever they want, which is power. Because they think, if they can get this instituted, with a temporary setback in one or two election cycles, that they'll be able to run the whole damn thing, the whole enchilada for the rest of time. Because they think that you will be begging them day in and day out, please don't hurt my government-run health care program, please approve this prescription drug, Please, I will vote for you. Just give my child the medicine he or she needs. Please, I need this. Is that the kind of citizen you want to be? Begging your damn government for your own health to protect your own kid? Well, that's what we're talking about. Screw all the pre-existing this and pre-existing that. That's all crap. You want to go on your knees to your Congressman and Senator, intimidated. Is that how we're going to look at the next town hall meeting? Please, Senator Specter, please. Have a whole computerized system. They're going to know all about those of you who have hemorrhoids. They're going to know where they are, like the galaxy of stars. They're going to know how many times you've been to the doctor, what you've been to the doctor for. What kind of medicine you received? What kind of procedures you had? Oh, we really believe in privacy when it comes to tracking down terrorists. But when it comes to American citizens, the government's going to have its head right up your ass. And what are we going to do about it? This is why I said last night, unify, be united. Reject the voices of division. Unified, fight these people. And we can only do it by taking over the Republican Party. There is no other way. If there is, I want to hear it. Mark a third party. There are 50 third parties in existence today. Every stripe imaginable. Go ahead, join one. Don't drag the rest of us down with you. We must be resolute. We must be vigilant. This is our country, damn it. Doesn't belong to any politician or group of politicians. But I mean, my God, this government run health care runs against every concept of liberty, everything the founding fathers stood for, everything. These leftists, these, these radicals, these statists who are pushing this and have pushed it since the New Deal, they may be blunt so the liberal reporters can hear me because now apparently they transcribe what I say. Let me be blunt. They have rejected this nation to the core. They have rejected the Constitution and the Declaration. They have rejected our founding. I don't know what the hell they are, but they're not traditional Americans. You got that? Oh, is that radical what I just said? No, it's not. It's truthful. And why exactly are we doing this? I keep forgetting. To save costs? The same government that's blown the budget through the roof? Obama's going to save costs? Obama's going to save costs? Well, then we might as well put Bill Ayers in charge of the Homeland Security Department. That's how much sense that makes. Because Obama is exactly the last person on the face of the earth who can save any costs. He's the biggest spender, budget buster, deficit creator in human history. He's going to cut costs? All of a sudden, he's a fiscal conservative? How can that be? But don't worry, he tells us. Everybody with pre-existing conditions are going to be covered. Really? Everybody? What does that mean, by the way, that you're going to be covered? Does that mean, if you have diabetes, that you're going to have everything paid for you? What does that mean? If you have heart disease, you're going to have everything paid for you? He just said it's going to be cost-efficient that... That tests and procedures and medicines that, that they may consider wasteful, their little Politburo boards, will not be offered or will be limited. So how is it that everyone with pre-existing conditions are going to get the treatments and medicines they need? 
It's a lie, and that's what they do time and time again. They don't give a damn about you or your family. They don't want to know you from anything. Look at them now. You're telling them don't do it. Are they paying attention? Well, yes, in a way. They're going to do the opposite. And as fast as they can.